This isn't what many of you may think. This is not a scene from some obscure horror movie. It's not a performance or some kind of art project. This is no ARG. What this is, is the beginning of a rabbit hole. It's the first step into a twisted world, hidden from the public eye in the very deepest depths of YouTube. A community whose dark practices have fallen through the cracks, unnoticed by most of the world for over a decade. Until today. Before we get too deep into this, this video is sponsored by Hunt a Killer, my absolute favorite mystery game on the market. Hunt a Killer is a horror subscription game where you are given a box full of realistic evidence that you then use to solve a mystery. If you are into my kind of content, then I can safely say that this will be right up your alley. I mean, it's so immersive, it makes you feel like you are a legitimate detective that's working on a dark and disturbing case. Now, currently, Hunt a Killer has a Blair Witch themed box that has kept me hooked for hours during these boring days stuck at home. It is really made for some of my favorite date nights these past few months. And right now, you can go to huntakiller.com slash nick and use the code nick for 20% off your first box. That is huntakiller.com slash nick with the code nick. Thank you so much to Hunt a Killer for sponsoring this video and in turn allowing me to cover this dark topic. October 26th, 2011. The day our story starts, as the video Brie Eye Check Part 1 would be posted to YouTube, where it remains to this day. The clip serves as the inaugural video for a channel called Mr. Sleepy People and showcases what can best be described as a bizarre scene. In it, we see the cameraman film a couple sleeping in a small bed in what appears to be a basement or other windowless room. The man approaches quietly, to the point where the camera is left just inches away from the woman's face, which then leads to the disturbing scene we watched earlier. The cameraman uses his free hand to pry open the girl's eye. At one point, he even touches the bare eye in a vigorous manner and then proceeds to open both of them simultaneously before eventually releasing her eyes and turning off the camera. With all of this being done without waking either of the two sleeping people up. It's a horrifying video and one that leaves so many questions, but as the title states, this is merely part one. And less than a month later, in November of 2011, Mr. Sleepy People would release part two. Bree Sexy Eyes Part Two a video that plays out virtually the same scene as before. The man approaches the sleeping couple and proceeds to play with the woman's sleeping eyes. The video features no description and no explanation as to what we are seeing on our screens, just the shocking footage and nothing else. And as strange and concerning as this all is, it only got darker when just a week later, part three would be posted. Bree Drunk and Passed Out, Part 3. Despite the first two videos not even reaching the two and a half minute mark, this video was a whopping nine minutes. The room is much darker this time, but the premise of the video stays the same. Just more of this person touching a lady named Bree's eyes. And to make matters worse, according to the title, not only was she sleeping, but she was also supposedly drunk and passed out at the time of filming this. What have we stumbled upon? What are these videos? Well, to understand this requires a deep dive into this Mr. Sleepy People channel. But for now, what I can say is that these videos are simply the beginning. Concerning his videos on this lady named Bree, Mr. Sleepy People has seven videos featuring her seven different videos of this man playing with this woman's sleeping eyes while another person sleeps just inches away. It's one of the strangest things I've ever seen, and it doesn't end there. In fact, Mr. Sleepy People's channel has 38 videos following this same mold with as many as 10 different women. 
38 videos of him opening sleeping girls' eyes, all spread out evenly within the past nine years, with his latest post coming back in January of 2020. Whatever it is that this man is doing, he has been doing it consistently for a very long time. And if there's one thing that is clear when watching these videos, is that whatever this is, he knows he's not supposed to be doing it. Every video shows him quietly sneaking around the rooms of these ladies in the dark, very obviously trying not to get caught. With perhaps the most obvious example of this coming from a video on March 7th of 2017, entitled Lovely Big Brown Eye Check 2. The video starts the same as all the others, but something happens in the closing seconds that gives us a disturbing glimpse into the mindset of Mr. Sleepy People. As he holds her eye open, the sleeping girl suddenly blinks, indicating that she is about to wake up. As this happens, we see him quickly jolt away in an obvious attempt to not get caught. It's a moment that to me confirms the idea that he is not supposed to be doing whatever it is he's doing which this idea alone makes the entire channel all the more concerning, as it seems he's doing these bizarre behaviors to people who have no idea what's happening to them. And the things he has done in these videos go far beyond what I've shown you. For starters, he's not only doing this to unaware sleeping women, but as I mentioned before, he has also done this to what he claims to be drunk or passed out girls as well. And that wasn't a one-off thing, just going off the titles and some of his descriptions, he has seemingly victimized drunk women in the majority of these videos, a disturbing fact that will come into play more as this mystery unfolds. Now skimming through his catalog of videos, I noticed something off-putting in a video called Quick I Check, which was posted back in January of 2014. The video itself is creepy enough as usual, but the truly horrifying part to me comes in the description. There he writes, gave a quick eye check, didn't have much time to do it, which is no good. Her eyes were very beautiful and big and also very tasty when I licked them and cleaned them for her while she was drunk asleep. Now this to me was actually a turning point for this channel. I couldn't help but feel like this was an indication that the whole channel is some kind of weird art project. After all, licking eyes is clearly disturbing and this just sounds like someone trying to be very dark and very edgy. Especially given the fact that he didn't actually do this on camera, he only talked about it. It really made me think that this was all somehow faked but this wasn't the case. October 26th, 2016, Mr. Sleepy People posts a 15 second clip entitled, Quick Sleepy Eye Check, Lick. And I think many of you know where this is headed. It's a clip that truly left me speechless. What kind of rabbit hole is this? But as twisted as this video was, it did solidify something for me, that this channel is real. I mean, no matter how good of an actor you are, no one would be able to fake this. It is human nature to shut your eyes if something even comes near them. So even for the sake of acting, no one would be able to sit through this. So it almost has to be real. And he's been doing this for so long. So not only is this not fake, but this man seems to love what he's doing. Now, as I mentioned before, it's a channel that leaves so many questions, but something I was shocked about was how these women weren't waking up when this was happening to them. But a quick Google search revealed that once you enter deep stages of sleep, your eyes can actually be opened without you waking up, as you can't actually see when your brain is sleeping. This is given the fact that all your eyes really do is reflect light. It's your brain that has to interpret that into sight. And so as surprising as it may seem, many deep sleepers would actually just sleep right through this, especially if that person sleeping is drunk and passed out. 
And for the most part, when he touches and moves these eyes around, these girls tend to have contact lenses in, meaning that they likely wouldn't feel much of anything. Plus, one of the girls he frequently does this to is, according to his description, partially blind. So as crazy as this all seems, the fact that they are not waking up is actually easily explained. But this can only be done during specific stages of sleep, which leads to an off-putting thought that this Mr. Sleepy People has to know which stages of sleep these women are in before performing these acts, meaning that he likely has to be waiting and watching as they sleep before actually going in and doing this stuff. It is a horrifying thought, but it almost has to be true given the fact that he never actually gets caught, so clearly he knows what he's doing. Now, another burning question that I was left with was, who are these women? How did he have access to what appeared to have been 10 plus separate girls over the course of nine years? Well, judging by his first few videos, this Brie girl is sleeping with another man in what appears to be a basement, and the same is true with other girls throughout the channel. So there is a possibility that he is sneaking into homes and doing this, but I have a much more likely explanation roommates. I think it's very possible that this person is simply living with other men and they have their girlfriend sleep over occasionally, to which Mr. Sleepy People then records. He would know their sleeping patterns and he could check on them without being suspicious because he lives there too. It's just so unlikely that he would sneak into different homes so consistently without detection and it would make a lot more sense if this was happening in his own home. It also seems likely, especially in more recent videos, that the women featured are perhaps in a relationship with him, as he seems to be more touchy, even holding them against his chest in some videos, with him having even admitted in one of the descriptions that the girl shown in the video was a friend. So we have a good guess as to a few things at this point. We can assume that this is very real, given the legitimate touching and licking. We can assume that this person isn't supposed to be doing this, as he is constantly sneaking around. Meanwhile, it's likely that these girls have no idea this is even being done. And we can assume that the majority of these girls are likely this man's roommates, girlfriends, or just hookups. But we still don't know the answer to what may very well be the biggest question posed here. What is the point of this content? What are we actually watching here? And why is it on YouTube? Well, having dove into this topic, the best answer I can give is that this is some kind of fetish, an idea that may be confirmed by Mr. Sleepy People's comment section. Now, I think most people who would watch something like this would be incredibly confused and terrified. And I think it would be safe to assume that videos like this would receive a lot of dislikes and negative comments, just given how twisted it all seems. But surprisingly, this isn't the case. Despite a modest subscriber count of over 2,000 people, over the course of his 38 videos, Mr. Sleepy People has amassed 1.7 million views, with almost every video reaching at least 10,000 views. And these videos are extremely well received, with most averaging a 90% like to dislike ratio. And this ratio and these view counts are not caused by bots or spam. He has a disturbingly active and very passionate comment section on nearly every video he posts, with comments like, such a hot nose, you should do a nose nostril check too. Try to play with her nose next time. If you're feeling dirty, go inside too. That would be fun. Get some mouth play when she snores. Wonderful, the beauty of the sleeping female. Relaxed face expressions. Calm, soft breathing. Body limpness, complete unawareness. After she went out, how long did you wait to start filming? Yes, the lower eyelids again. More, more, more. My wife passes out like this every night, lol. I love messing with her eyes, mouth, and feet. Should I have stripped her down? If she's that drunk, you should do more. Good vid, though. Interesting that you have a girl this drunk, and all you do is hold her eye open. My GF wouldn't mind me doing that to her, I'm sure. What the hell is this? 
And this is just a small sample size. The channel is filled with comments just like these, with people who are loving the videos and want this person to do even more. And based off of the way these comments are worded, saying to strip her down, begging for more videos, using phrases like hot and sexy, while asking to see feet and mouth play. It reveals what could previously only be assumed, that these videos are meant to be sexual. At least to these people in this community, they get off to this strange practice. And in many ways, it seems like these commenters are almost living their fantasies through this Mr. Sleepy People account, just like many do when they watch pornography, as they are sending in requests in incredibly desperate manners, perhaps indicating that they can't do this in their real life, but they can have this guy do it for them and film it. It just keeps getting stranger. But as I said before, this is a rabbit hole, one that plummets to the very depths of this site, and Mr. Sleepy People is just the start. As when you search up iChecks and look at his subscription list, you find dozens of channels with hundreds of videos of this same practice. One of these channels, OSMKZHS, dates all the way back a full decade and features just five grainy videos of sleeping women having their faces manipulated by a man behind the camera. And though it isn't active today, the fact that this channel was prevalent so long ago shows us that this fetish style of video is nothing new. And it is still prevalent to this day, as evident by a channel called Rem Sleeper. The channel is just three weeks old, but in that time, it has already posted 20 videos, many of which being done on what he describes as drunk girls. And it's shocking the number of views that all of these accounts are pulling. And again, all positive comments. This is no small community that is watching these videos. This is a fairly large group lusting over sleeping women being touched in various ways. And this is only what we're seeing on YouTube. As it turns out, there is also what appears to be a black market-like trade of these videos. That's all happening behind the scenes, a fact that is proved within the comments of many of these videos, with people asking if they want to trade personal clips, even sharing emails and phone numbers, so they can trade their own videos behind the scenes something that I can only assume is being done because these people don't have permission to be filming these girls in their personal videos, so they don't want to post them onto YouTube to avoid being caught. This also may be done because these videos could be even more graphic to the point where they wouldn't be allowed on YouTube. It's also important to note that every single person commenting on these videos and posting their own videos are men and every one of these eye checks are done on women, leading me to believe that this isn't just about the eyes. It's just as much the sleeping or drunk girl, which makes this next discovery all the more concerning. It seems that every channel that posts or comments on these videos has their own playlists. And these playlists link to thousands of other videos in this genre, showing us just how widespread this is. I mean, there's a channel called Have To Be Gone that has a playlist with 667 videos in it, most of which featuring passed out women being messed with while they sleep. And these videos can be far more graphic than we've seen, with some showing old film reels of actual dead female bodies, and others showing videos of women having seizures. And all of this is being fetishized. But though the graphicness and the sheer number of these videos that are out there is shocking, there is something else very strange that you can find in these playlists. The topic of hypnosis. It is something that is sprinkled within many of these playlists, as there are often videos that show women being hypnotized, and some of these are actual tutorials of how to hypnotize people to the point where they can't move and are completely unaware, thus giving you total control. It seems that these people are into the idea of hypnotizing women, as women being asleep and unaware is such a large part of this fetish. And it's even possible they may be trying to learn this trade in order to more fully control these women so that they can use them at their will. 
Now, I try not to be a person who judges others, especially when it comes to sexual preference. But if you think about this fetish as a whole, it is inherently problematic. These videos show women who are unaware, drunk, sleeping, and potentially even hypnotized in some. And something that all of these things have in common is that it makes it impossible for these women to consent. You can't say no to something that you don't even know is happening. And these acts are sexual in the minds of the people consuming and making this content. So therefore, their actions should be considered sexual as well, given the fact that it's their intention. And to me, this appears to be the basis of this fetish. I think they like the idea of messing with a girl who has no control and who certainly can't say no. This is why these girls are always sleeping and drunk, and it also explains why hypnosis videos, seizure videos, and even clips of dead women are in these playlists. It all shows girls who have no control over their bodies. It is just so twisted, as this whole fetish centers around a lack of consent. These girls don't know they're being filmed. They don't know they're being touched like this. And even if on the off chance they did agree to this beforehand, Consent happens in the moment. It can't be given beforehand. Also, consent can't be given when you're drunk anyway. This fetish is twisted, and in every way possible, it is just wrong. And with that in mind, I want to close with the most disturbing part of this all. Kids. Eight years ago, Mr. Sleepy People would post a video entitled Rem Little Sis, and the video shows what clearly seems to be a child sleeping. For the man behind this and all of his followers, this is a sexualized video. They watch this like pornography, and it's not only of his sister, but his underaged sister, a literal child. And unfortunately, there are multiple examples of this hidden within these endless playlists. These people are not only sexualizing unconsenting adults, but they are sexualizing sleeping children. And if that isn't bad enough, they then post those videos online for people to get off to. It just doesn't get any more screwed up than this. And I want you all to keep in mind that these women and children almost certainly have no idea that right now as we speak, people are viewing videos of them being toyed with in their sleep for thousands of people on the internet to watch in a sexual way. So it's clear that this community should not be allowed to exist here on YouTube. But the scary part is that on the off chance YouTube does actually terminate these accounts, they can do nothing to stop the behind-the-scenes trading of these videos. And if this is the kind of stuff that they feel comfortable sharing, well, I can only imagine the sickening things that are shown in those clips. I want to give a huge thank you to my gold tier patrons and of course my god tier patrons. Sub to Micro O, Tracy Volp, Alfred, Sam Lutfi, Snoodles, Miss Kitten, Lacey, Nathan Backus, and Michelle S. Thank you all so much.